జై శ్రీమన్నారాయణ a person can be called a guru only when he receives knowledge of vedanta from a very trusted and authorized lineage of acharyas and propagate the knowledge to others who seeks it a jagat guru is one who sees no difference in anyone and out of compassion passes on the knowledge of god to everyone without seeing their caste creed race and status swami ramanujacharya is truly a jagat guru In this pastime of Swami Ramanuja we shall see how he genuinely displayed his love towards humanity and preached equality Swami Ramanuja Charya after serving his acharya and got samasrayanam that is pancha samskarams the five purificatory processes was advised by his acharya Pedyanambi to do this Oh my dear master I am so indebted to you for giving me a new life of a Vaishnava. This truly is the meaning and purpose of life. Oh dear Ramanuja, you are a gem among the devotees. Who else qualifies to be a Vaishnava other than you? I feel filled an instruction that my Guru Swami Yamunacharya gave me. He ordered me to bring you into the folds of Sri Vaishnavism and here you are today. I am so grateful to you my dear Acharya. However, can you also grant me the best of the mantras that is kept secret and will be given to only those who are qualified? I learned that this mantra is called Ashtakshri and will give moksha to the person who chants it with utmost devotion to Lord Sri Man Narayana. Oh Ramanuja I understand your desire to learn the mantra. However, as per the instructions of Yamunacharya, you can only get that mantra from a great disciple of Yamunacharya by the name Gosti Purna, who lives in Tirukostyur. You need to serve him to get this mantra from him. In that case, I'll start my journey now and seek the refuge of Gosti Purna immediately. Goshti Purna is a very knowledgeable and pious person. He is a prominent disciple of Swami Yamuna Muni. He is not a man who is easily convinced to pass on the knowledge of Vedanta, which is kept secret from falling into hands of undeserved persons. One day, Gurudeva, Gurudeva, Adiyan. Oh, dear Ramnuja, get up, get up. I am so happy to see you. How is your acharya, Periyanambi? What made you come all the way to Tirukostyur? My acharya, Periyanambi, is doing well. He advised me to come to you to serve you and learn the inner meanings of Ashtakshari. Gurudeva, have mercy on me. Please allow me to serve you and bless me with the jewel of the mantras, Ashtakshari. Please, please. Oh Ramanuja I would love to give it to you however I'm very busy today can you come some other time Swami whenever you can please let me learn I'll return again your mercy adiyan This boy Ramanuja is a very great scholar Though I was directly instructed by Yamunacharya to give this boy the knowledge of Ashtakshari, I want to test if he is really keen to learn. I want to know his sincerity and his eligibility. Let's see if he comes again. Though Ramanujacharya is a great scholar, he is very humble. He approached Goshti Purna with a lot of reverence and sincerity, not once or twice. but 17 times every time he approached koshti purna would always reject his plea and ask to come again but on the 18th visit swami adiyan can you bless me with the mantra today oh ramanuja you came to me 17 times to seek this mantra i sent you back every time you came 
Being a scholar, don't you feel insulted that I am sending you away and you keep coming here again and again? Guru Deva, you are an epitome of knowledge. It is where my key to liberation lies. Why would I hesitate to come again and again? I am very pleased with your conduct and now I am convinced that you are sincere in your efforts. I will tell you the mantra, but Ramanuja, listen to this very carefully. Number one, you should never reveal this to anyone who is not worthy enough. Number two, one who chants this mantra will be relieved from this material life and will reach God and serve him eternally. If you reveal this to an unworthy person, you will go to hell. Surely, Swami, I'll follow your instructions. Oh, Swami, thank you so much. And I feel very light-hearted. All my pain of this material world is now gone. There are thousands of thoughts that are going in Swami Ramanuja's head after he got the most sacred mantra. But what he does next is what makes him truly a Jagadacharya. Now I know the greatest of the mantras that can lead me to moksha. But what about these souls that are entangled in the material world? They can't access this wealth. They will never be able to get out of this samsara. I will do this. Hey everyone! Hey you! All of you! Come near me! Do you want to know the mantra that gives you eternal happiness? It gives you the wealth of God, Sri Manarayana. Listen to me carefully and recite after me. Namo Narayanaya. Now go, chant this happily and live a life of detachment and you will surely achieve God. This news of Ramanuja revealing the sacred mantra to everyone came to Goshti Purna. He is very agitated and summoned Ramanuja Charya. Hey Ramanuja, what have you done? What have you done? Haven't I told the rules that you should not reveal this to everyone? Haven't I told you that if you reveal this, you will go to hell? How can you commit such an atrocity? You broke the promise that you made. Chi. I shouldn't have given this to you. Why did you do this? Swami, you did mention that I'll go to hell if I reveal this mantra. However, Swami, I couldn't see all these people suffer in this material world whilst I get liberation. All these jivas get moksha now. I'm happy to accept hell for all these people. The cost of me alone going to hell is worth to be paid for. When all my brothers and sisters get moksha, apologies for not keeping up my promise, Swami. Oh, Ramanuja, I am so concerned about safeguarding the mantra sanctity or forgetting the purpose of it. A Sri Vaisnava is one who is compassionate about others and always thinks of welfare of others. One should not be self-centered. We only read these in books, but never apply them in life. However, Ramanuja, today what you have done is truly reflect the meaning of how a Sri Vaishnava is. You are a true Sri Vaishnava. No, no, you are my god. From today, you will be called as Emperor Manar, which means my lord Sri Manarayana. This way, Jagadacharya Swami Ramanuja Charya opened the gates of Sri Vaikuntam to everyone who desired to reach God. He instructed that one should not see any qualification in others to pass on this knowledge and that everyone is equal in front of God. He propagated the love of God and involved every section of society in the service of God. 
Till today, all the 108 Divya Desams strictly adhere to principles of Swami Ramanuja Charya, and all sections of society involve and serve Supreme Lord Sri Manarayana. Swami Ramanuja Charya is nothing but Jagada Charya. Jai Ho Ramanuja. Punah Satyam, Punah Satyam, Yeti Rajo Jagat Gurum.